Cleveland hasn't seen such a funeral in years. The great and the good were there. Among them, Senators George Brookmeyer and Orrin Hatch, Mayor Voinovich, and members of the Teamster Executive Board. The Teamsters Union has seen a long succession of its leaders associated with controversy and mob corruption. I never thought that I would ever meet in my life a more courageous or decent man than Bill Presser. But I did. And it was his son, Jackie. Jackie Presser was loved by everyone from the trainee truck driver to Ronald Reagan and George Bush. He was my nephew, but a misfit if there ever was one. He was a car thief, a loan shark. Anyone that ever told me he was going to become one of the most powerful men in this country, I uh, <laughs> would have laughed right in his face. I wonder why it's so easy to accept when some people die, but not others. I'll never be able to accept the fact that Jack is dead. Maybe because he enjoyed life so much, he enjoyed food, he enjoyed women. Enjoyed lying to people. He was the most devious son of a bitch that ever lived. They all asked me why I came to his funeral. I came because I wanted to be sure he was really dead once and for all. Well, we, we played the most dangerous game anybody could have played in this country. It, it took us both down. And uh, it. You know, we took down a lot of other people, too. We took down a lot of bad guys. Breaking union busting bill. In my opinion, Mr. Harper, this bill is not a strike breaking union busting bill. You're the best argument I know for it. Your testimony here this afternoon, your complete indifference to the fact that numerous people who hold responsible positions in your union come before this committee and take the Fifth Amendment because an honest answer might tend to incriminate them. Your complete indifference to it, I think, makes this bill essential. So get roast marshmallows. What do you think I'm doing? You know where the books are. Get them. Go on, move. Get them. Jackie ran a bowling alley, but he always seemed to need more money. He used a position with a small local to steal funds from the hotel workers union. His uncle Alan had to help save him from going to jail. Jackie's father was the second most important man in the Teamsters, the largest union in the United States. It's fair to say that he and organized crime were no strangers. 
You're a pair of geniuses, the two of you. Well, with the audit coming up, you didn't want them to see how he's robbing the local deaf, dumb, and blind, do you? You didn't take anything, did you? Not a cent, not one cent. If you weren't my wife's brother, I'd let you rot in there like you deserve. Right. Yeah, I saved your fucking son from going to jail. That's the thanks I get. You got a way to get home? Yeah, I got ten ways. Then take one. Close the door. Man your age. Three wives. I had to go to the captain at the police station. I'm ashamed of you. You understand? I'm ashamed you're my son. Hey, what'd you do this time, you crazy fucking Jew? Burn down the city? Fuck oh, you, Danny. Oof. You son of a bitch. What the hell did you pull? What are you talking about? It was an accident. If I had an accident like that, you wouldn't let me out for 500 years. Who's the animal? I don't know. Let's find out. Hey, Betty! Betty, come here. Come here, I want to talk. Who is she? Friend of mine. Oh. Cuban. She's a nice girl. Is she attached? She's getting a divorce. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Don't introduce me. She's not the kind of girl you usually see. She's a very independent lady. I love independent ladies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Jackie Presser. This is my friend, Carmen. Hi, Carmen. Hey, Hi. you like your Brenner? Who? Joe Brenner. You know, the bald actor. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, he's all right. He's coming to Cleveland next week in the King and I. What do you say? We will go to the show. I'll take you backstage to meet him afterwards. Uh, Thursday night. Oh, I'm busy Thursday night. Well, any night. You pick it up. I'm sorry. I'm all tied up. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Don't you care who you introduced me to? His father is Bill Fresser. Don't you know who that is? Well, I don't care who his father is. Jesus, Betty, all he needs is an apple in his mouth. Good to see you. Come on. So you saw the doctor, huh? I thought you had a remission. That's what they said. You gonna try again? Well, three times of those butchers is enough. That's it. Here's the dead. I'm sorry, Bill. You'll lick it. No, I won't. Let's face it. When something like this happens, you begin to understand what's really important to you. I guess you know. I guess you know. Yeah. Coffee? Oh. Mace. Mm -hmm. Jackie is the only important thing to me. I know what people think of him. Jackie's always been a problem. Now, maybe that's partly my fault. How could you say that? I went to the pen when he was five years old because I wouldn't tell those pricks on the congressional committee about our business with the family. You'll always have our appreciation for that, Bill. Why'd you come to see me, Bill? What can I do for you? I want Jackie back in the union. Take my place. Are you serious? I'm serious. How do I fit in that mission, guys? Mesh. I'm gonna need your help with the family. <laughs> You're gonna need more than that. Jackie would go after a woman the way a general would plan to take over a city. He called Betty on the day of Carmen's divorce, and then he tracked every move she made. He would use his charm to fool all of us. Hey, Carmen. Hey, you remember me, Jackie Presser? We met in my bowling alley. Hmm? Okay, if I sit down. I would like to be alone. What's the matter? Just came back from court, got my divorce today. Oh, no kidding. Hey, gee, that's tough. So, uh, you gonna be all right? What do you mean? I mean, did you at least get a good deal out of it? I didn't get anything. Oh, God, that's terrible. 
You know what? Let me have your home phone number. Maybe I can help you. Hey, come on. Don't look at me like that. I don't want to rape you. I want to help you. What's the matter with you anyway? You, know, you, you got something against fat people. Huh? Come on. Don't you know that fat people are all very good natured? <laughs> What do you want, Jackie? Ah, uh, God, I'm starving. Uh, uh, just let me have some cottage cheese. We got some of that chocolate cheesecake from New York in today. Oh, don't tell me that. Don't. Uh, they, they don't get that here very often. It's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you have some? No, no, I can't. I gotta lose weight. Oh. These days, I should just have an apple in my mouth. I'm sorry. I don't know why Betty told you that. I'll tell you what, why don't you split it with me? Huh? That way I won't feel so guilty. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, you want the cottage cheese too? Of course I want the cottage cheese. I told you I'm on a diet. <laughs> See this so they'll know where we're coming from? Just put it back in your pocket. Just follow me. Don't say a word. Don't stop. what your take-home pay and your safety provisions were until I did something about it. It's not you we're complaining about. It's him. We don't want him. Is that right? <laughs> Just because he fucked up the bowling alley, you come to us to find another job for him. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we got to make him head of a local. No. Yeah, let him go back to running bras and card games on the hill. Maybe, maybe he did some bad things in the past, but he's grown out of it. You don't know him yet. I can vouch for him. He'll do a hell of a job for you and the movement. All he needs is a chance. Yeah, well, you better go talk to Nardi, because he's the boss as far as we're concerned. Nardi. Nardi. Hey, let me tell you something, okay? You got a problem. <laughs> your fucking son's a clown. That's your problem. And it ain't going to be my fucking problem unless you want to make it my problem. I made the trip down here to see if we could work something out. But you don't want to work anything out. We've had a lot of good years, and with no killings, because Rockman and I have tried very hard to have everyone get along together. But you don't want that, do you? Hey, I ain't got nothing against you chosen people. You just got one ingredient missing. You know what that is? Balls. And that's why this union ain't what it should be. Antonio! Hey, Danny, I don't know if you know this or not, but the membership is really pissed off for press. They don't like the way he's trying to shove his kid down their throats. Hey, how you doing, fellas? This is the time for us to make our move. I mean, me with my truckers, and you with your longshoremen. Hey, Cheech, come and stay. Oh, hello, senor. We could have a piece of everything from Miri to Fort Wayne. What do you think, you win? This could be the end of the WAP Jew era and just the beginning of the WAP era. There's only one problem. Yeah? Well, what's that? I don't like WAPs any more than I like Jews. So what are you trying to tell me, Danny? You in or you out? I'm in. Not because I like you. Because I think you can win. Yeah, well, that's good, because I don't care if you like me or not. As long as you're in, that's what's important to me, okay?
coming. They're coming. You're like a cheap pimp, aren't you, Jackie? Oh, God. I think I haven't heard it from every other woman in town. You pretend to be a girl's best friend, the only one you'll ever look at. You get her to rely on you, and once she does, that's it. You're no longer interested in her. So why don't you go to bed with me? <laughs> what does that mean? Come on, tell me. What does it mean? It means that I like you. Well, I like you too, Carl. Why? Well, for one thing, you got the best fucking body of any woman I ever met. Well, what else would have? Nothing. Why are we wasting time talking, huh? Come on, back to bed. Come on. Stop it. Come on. Uh, Keep my right up. Oh. To avoid the counterpunch. That's right. To avoid the counterpunch. Now, if you have a little, yeah. keep that right up. Yeah. Don't drop the right. Just like Tony did in that Henry Cooper fight. You were great in that fight. Thanks. Hey. Pretend it's somebody you hate. Yeah, pretend it's Nardi. Who the fuck are you? Yeah, who the fuck are you? Somebody whose help you're gonna need. I don't need no fucking help. If you and your father had your little meeting with Nardi. He went and had a little meeting with Danny Green. Now he not only got the Italian mafia after you, but the Irish mafia wants a piece of you too. See, so they're trying to take advantage of the fact that the membership hates your guts so much. In case you hadn't heard, they're gonna make their move, try to take over everything from Erie to Fort Wayne. Make their move. So you better make your move right on out of here. You're fucking FBI, aren't you? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I can tell from the $3 haircut. Get the fuck out of here. They're gonna go after any labor guy who gets in their way. You're their first target. With the shape you're in, they can hardly miss you. Here's my card. I don't want your card. What am I, a fucking snitch? Get the fuck out of here. Hey. It's a safe place. You're gonna need it. Hey, hold on a sec. Wait, you wanna see what I think of this? Here. Fuck you, okay? Call my old man. You don't have time to call anybody. They'll come here, they'll hit you, your father, your uncle, and then hit every Jew who has anything to do with the Teamsters that does business with the outfit. Let's go. Hey, you're, you're new here, aren't you? What's your name? Cindy Jerebek. Ah, so who do you work for? Mr. Friedman. Ah, Lucky Friedman. <laughs> Hey, I got a very important job for you. There's a gorgeous new broad out there. She says she's Friedman's new secretary. I want her working for me. And what about the secretary you already have? I need two now. Three times, Matt. Liz with the most gorgeous broad in Cleveland. You're already humping this secretary. She isn't chopped liver. Tell me something. Don't you ever get tired of pussy? Oh, you crazy? Where you going? I got a date with Carmen. Wait a minute. What's that? May says you ought to use it before you get into a car. Come on, I'm late now. Wait a minute.
Jackie, why is it that everybody wants to kill you? <laughs> yeah? Well, I've been hearing that, you know, that you're a gangster yourself. Ah, come on, I'm no gangster. Like anybody in the Teamsters has have connections with the, with the gangsters. <laughs> why? Well, that goes back a long way, right to the beginning. See, back in the old days, nobody wanted unions. <laughs> Except for the workers, of course. Everybody was killing us. The companies, the bosses, they had to... Well, they had the cops. They had their own hired goons. They just kicked the hell out of us. So we needed some muscle on our side. And then Hoffa, of course, he... Uh, he brought in the mafia as his muscle, his club. And ever since, he's been giving them everything they want. Well, he's gone, they're still here. So why... Why do you need them for? Why don't you just... You know, get out of it. For me? Yeah. <laughs> get out of the Teamsters. Nah, Carmen. The pressers are the Teamsters. I, I had a grandmother. She was a seamstress and a tailor. She had a big purple scar on her forehead. She got it in a fight on a picket line when she was 14 years old. 14. She was proud of that scar till the day she died. My father, he got beat up so many times, he was shot at, he was threatened. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Everybody wonders how I got into the Presser family. <laughs> Jackie the Clown. Humpty Dumpty. But I'm not the loser everybody thinks I am, Carmen. I'm not. And I want to show him someday, too. There's more of my grandmother that tough, hard-ass little tailor. There's more of her in me than people think. Mm. Come on, let's get out of here. Jesus Christ, something's definitely wrong here. If I can't park outside my own fucking local, where the hell am I gonna park? If Jackie Press is still around, we gotta be careful. Yeah, it's clean, boss. Hey, thanks, kid. keeping me alive. What do you want? First, I want to get something straight. I hate your guts, Newman. Same to you. Fucking pricks. Pricks like you to put my old man in jail. Look, I think you're the sorriest piece of shit ever rode on his father's coattails. Now, what do you want? Look, you gotta help me nail somebody. Yeah? Who might that be? Danny Green. You gotta have his phone tap, right? We need to know all of his movements. No, nah, you're gonna have to find it some other way. Look, Danny Green is the guy who's behind all this shit. No, nope, can't help you. Why don't you tell me who the mechanic is making these bombs? I'll tell you who's making the bombs when you help me nail Danny Green, and not before. All right, that's it. The ride is over for you. Tony, pull over. Oh, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Hey, hey, I got something. Here, here, take my car. Come on, take it. Keep it in a safe place. You may need it. Listen to this. Dental group? Yes. I'm confirming an appointment for Danny Green tomorrow at noon. Yes. That's right. We'll be expecting him. What's this for? You don't want to know, Grace.
dying day, Jackie believed that we had helped him personally win the bombing wars. This gave him the confidence to improve his image with a membership. Welcome to our show, Jackie. Now, I understand you think the team stirs aren't getting a fair break from the media. <clears throat> well, it's, it's all like the crap that started with uh, Kennedy and Hoffa, you know. So, uh, you know, the media thinks that we're all a bunch of scumbags. Well, you can't say that on television, Mr. Presser. I just said it. <laughs> Can you define hey, isn't that your guy, the fat one up there? For? What a clown. Absolutely. Who's a clown? Didn't I hear you say you didn't like him yourself? I changed my mind. We work hard. We take care of our families. We pay our bills. We go to church. And we're sick and tired of the media treating us all like we're a bunch of wise guys. Yeah. But the program right. the movement as a whole no. is reported as having connections with the mafia. Ah, that's a bunch of newspaper crap. That's propaganda. What mafia? Bill brought Jackie to the next annual Teamster Executive Retreat. Hey, Bill! Hey, how you doing, Bill? Good, good. As well as possible for a man with a stomach made out of steel mushrooms. <laughs> come, on, come on, you'll outlive all of us. No, I won't, Tommy. You will outlive me with my ticker, that's for sure. Thank you. Sit right down here, Bill. Let me get it. The uh, meeting is in order. Uh, well, well, shouldn't we wait till he goes? I think uh, Bill's got something to say about that. Yeah, I, was... I would like to say something before you begin. Uh, I'm going to be stepping down from the board in a few weeks. Now, we've all been together through thick and thin for, for 20 years. I have one last favor. I'd like to ask that Jackie take my place. Is that why he's wearing his bar mitzvah suit? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Bill. But are you serious? Of course they're serious. We're supposed to negotiate. You think you can read a contract to save your ass? Alan and Roy are right. Yeah, Dorfman's right. He's just not qualified to sit on this board, Bill. Well, of course he ain't. Neither are you. Neither are most people on this board. I'm going to vote for him as a gesture of thanks to Bill. We owe Bill. Somebody going to make a motion? Look, you already have your votes, or you wouldn't be doing this. Now go ahead, vote him in if you want. Come on, Alan. I'm going to have to stay here and watch this shit. I want to put in the record that this is an act of charity. And put this in the record. Fuck Jackie Preston. meeting of the mob on the Teamsters Court. Well, what else could it be? You, you got Provenzal, a main member, right on the board. You got Alan Dorfman, the money man. You could have been president of the Teamsters. Why? I never wanted to. Why not? To who wants it? Look what happened to Beck. Look what happened to Hoffa. They're after Fitz right now. The FBI's gonna indict him any day. It's not a throne. It's a, an electric chair. Yeah, but does it have to be that way? You gotta satisfy the outfit. You gotta satisfy the fence. If you don't please the outfit, they'll kill you. If you do please the outfit, you'll wind up in the pen. My bosses thought I was crazy when I asked them to come meet Jackie Presser in Chicago. What I didn't know was that Jackie had in mind one of the greatest high-wire acts ever tried in this country. Well, just one man controls the Central States Pension Fund for the Teamsters Union. And that's Alan Dorfman, of course. All the mob families use this fund as seed money for whatever they want to do. So if you nail Dorfman, you might be able to prosecute the head of every family in the country. You think that hasn't occurred to us? Personally, it had something to do with putting this guy in jail. He did three years of push-ups, and he came out tougher than when he went in. Yeah, that was seven years ago. He's 55 years old now. And a second conviction means a nine-year mandatory sentence. Alan can't do that kind of time anymore. And how do we get this second conviction? We tap his phone. You need probable cause for that. I get you probable cause. How? 
Well, how about Dorfman's participation in the disappearance of James R. Hoffman? What do you have on that? We make a deal, I'll let you know. I don't know what you've heard, but we have to justify every penny we spend with the director. What are you talking about, money? You think I'm doing this for money? Fuck you. You don't have enough money to buy me. Do you understand? Look, if you guys can't think any bigger than this, I'm wasting my fucking time. Yeah, you can understand why he's wondering why anybody would give us this information. Why are you incidentally? I'm a good citizen? That's a joke, fellas. <laughs> FBI. So you use me, I use you. Okay? But I got conditions. What are they? I don't want my name anywhere in your files or your records. Do you understand? Not any place. They got people working everywhere, even in your offices. I doubt that. I don't. What's the other condition? If this thing works right, I'm going to give you guys a razor. And you can cut my throat with it. I don't want any indictments against me. In other words, you're asking the FBI to absolve you of any crimes you commit. Who the fuck is this guy? Why don't you go down and have a cup of coffee, Jackie, while we discuss this? No, 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 no. I'm not going downstairs. I'm going in that bedroom there for five minutes. When I come out, I'm going to the airport. I'm catching a 4.30 flight back to Cleveland, where I have a negotiation. This is a one-time offer, gentlemen, and you got five minutes to make up your mind. What can we make of this guy? You know who his father is. You know what happened at the board meeting. Can we trust him? Uh, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could lift him, which wouldn't be very far, but I mean, look at what he might give us. What's the downside? It's a hell of a downside. How do we know he isn't sent by the mob to put us on the wrong track? Find out what we know and then go back to them. Can we take directions? Could we handle them? Yeah, look, the upside is that we would have an informant inside the most corrupt union in this country. And we could put away the head of every major crime family. I mean, if he stays alive long enough. If he stays alive long enough. Jackie, come in, please. All right, your name won't appear in any of the files. We'll refer to you by code name. What shall we call you? Call me the tailor. What we didn't know was that the crazy son of a bitch went straight from us in Chicago to New York to cut another deal with fat Tony Salerno, the head of the biggest family there. Hey. Lord Williams is going to try and take pension funds away from New York and move them to Chicago and Kansas City when he becomes president. So Al and Dorfman are behind that part. How do you know? Saul Schwartz, a friend of mine. He's, uh, he's a bag man for Williams. Oh, fucking hell, Billy Williams never wore shoes till he met us. Tony, can I tell you what I think you need here? What do I need? I think you need somebody on the board of the pension funds that's on your side. Mm -hmm. What do you suggest? I suggest me. No, 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 no. It's not a Jackie. It's dangerous. You're going too fast. No, 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 no. All I want is for you and for the other members of the family here to get everything they got coming to them. Huh? I battered my life on you. Mesh, the Gravio. I even tried to dress like you guys. Well, maybe not like Mesh. <laughs> I think you got to be the greatest con man I ever met. It's okay. As long as it's the small things. In bed with the outfit and the FBI at the same time. And find out sooner or later, you stupid asshole, what happens to him? Mm -hmm. man told me that you gotta deal with him if you wanna do anything, all right? So I'm dealing with the bastards. I'm gonna use them both to run interference for me. I want the hell out of here.
Come on, Tony, wait a minute. Give me a cab. Yes, sir. Get in the car. I'm not getting into this car. Come on. It'll be fun. I need somebody to appreciate me, to appreciate what I'm doing. Now listen to me, Tony. All kidding aside. I'm going places. I'm going to take you with me. I'll tell you where we're going. We're going to be laid out side by side at Rossi's funeral. <laughs> you know what they say. Live fast, die young, and leave a beautiful corpse, huh? Yeah? Leave a beautiful corpse. Get in the car. Come on, get in the car. It's right from Israel. And it's the worst one. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. No transition period. We're going right to the serious stuff. You filled the fish. You're going to look. Believe me. Yes, that's right. It tastes worse than it looks. Wait, go ahead. You'll be the first one. Oh, yeah, right. No, no, it's not that bad. You have to try it. Out. Would you like some more Kalugo? Oh, I, I can't eat any more. Thank you, Mrs. Presser. Oh, call me, Bay. You're a nice girl, Carmen. So what are you going to let him do? Kill me? After dinner, Alan. Everybody gets rich except me. Oh, listen to this. You want me to show you a list of the cancel checks of all the money that we give you for doing absolutely nothing? Well, so what? He is your uncle. Well, he deserves whatever you give him. You and him both, with your insane gambling. You're going to make trouble for all of us. You're going to kill us. I don't see why you're so careful about your money. You're not going to live long enough to spend it. Carmen, why don't you and I clear off the table and let the others talk? Excuse me. <clears throat> Thanks for bringing me into your home and making such a wonderful meal for me, Faye. You made me really feel at home. Now, you listen to me. Don't you try to marry my son. If you do, I'll have you killed. Understand? Lock. I have to go back to her for you, not married to her. Uh, I gotta check in. Three o'clock, six o'clock, whatever time it is. Jackie, I hate to see you with her. She brings you down, man like you. Uh, Carmen loved me when I was a schmuck running a bowling alley. I love you more than she does. Sorry, I can't. I gotta go. Well, listen. Is there anything you could do for me with uh, Friedman's secretary, Cindy? What do you mean, can I do anything for you with Cindy? I can't get the first base with her. <laughs> Why don't you put in a good word for me, huh? Please? She wouldn't look at you. She's an idiot like I am. She doesn't mean anything to me. Open the door. Jackie, we were supposed to get married as soon as you got your divorce, right? Weren't we? All right, I, we I haven't had now. time to work things out, okay? I got a lot on my mind right now. I've been very busy. Come on, let me in. Listen, listen, Jackie. You don't want to get married, and that's fine with me, but I do. And I want to do it before I'm too old for, for someone to care about me. Somebody is always going to care about you, No, crime. they won't. Have fun with your life, Jackie. Leave me alone. Carmen. Carmen. Listen, Jackie, there are a couple of guys from the Justice Department asking questions. If they find out about the money we use to pay off your uncle's gambling debts or the no-shows on the payroll... Yeah, fuck the Justice Department. 
Set up a blood test for me. Covington, Kentucky. Tell Bobby to make sure the car's full of gas. What the hell for? Congratulate me. I'm getting married. Why Covington, Kentucky, for Christ? I'm trying to keep it out of the papers. Don't want my girlfriends to find her. You want to get married, so we get married. So, of course, this is the unhappiest night of your life. What is it with you? What do you want from me? I wanted something where, where my parents will be there. And and your family and, you know, rose blossoms and... Oh, don't cry, Carmen, please. You know I hate it when you cry. Come on. I love you. I must love you. Like I wanted to get married again. Christ, it was like taking poison. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Oh, no. How much I paid for this jacket? Yeah. Come on in. I want you to hear something. You want to get the fucking reputation about making commitments and not living up to them? Huh? Huh? Why don't you give him a chance? He wants to tell you something. Who is it? His deregulation bill is dead. We killed it, at least for this term. How do I know that? Do you know who it is? Yeah, shh, shut up. Because I can count votes. You should have seen that, that fat rich kid's face when he realized what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told you. I told you it got through first. Now, what about my problem? Your problem will be taken care of as soon as I read in the Tribune that the bill is dead. I can get my man to move on it when I read about it. Joey. Uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay, who's the guy talking about knowing how to count? That's Senator Howard Cannon, chairman of the Commerce Committee. Oh, my God, Senator Cannon. Who's the fat rich kid? Ted Kennedy. They're talking about his deregulation bill. What's the quid pro quo? Quid pro quo, six acres of prime Las Vegas. The pension fund is going to sell it to Cannon's son-in-law for 200000 less than the, the highest bid. Who's the other guy? The other guy, the other guy is the new president of the King's Division, Roy Williams. We have Dorfman, Williams, and Senator Cannon all in one shot. Yeah. Let's go. Well, I don't want Dorfman to know you're within a thousand miles of Chicago. Wait a minute, hey. I'm not getting back into that thing again. Well, suppose somebody sees you. All right, I don't want to. Take the freight elevator. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell are you doing here? My office is in this building, in case you didn't know. What I didn't know, Alan, was I had to clear my travel plans with you. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, who's the Girl Scout? Haven't I seen you somewhere? Nice to see you again, too, Joey. Uh, you guys don't travel without muscle. I don't travel without muscle, right? Huh? I think this is our floor. Excuse no, me. no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you from? You don't know him. He's from Pittsburgh. What's the matter with him? Can he talk? He's a little nervous around strangers, all right? He's been away for a while. Oh, yeah? He looks stupid. He does. No, who's acting stupid? Easy. Easy. Take it easy. All right, come on, girls. Go. Put it away. Hey, we're all on the same side, right? Shall we? Sure we are. Yeah. Who is this animal? <clears throat> He's my animal. You have a subpoena for me? I thought this bullshit went out with Kennedy. I took shrapnel in the ass from the Japs and got a medal handed to me by Roosevelt. And this is how I get paid back? Just doing our job as a member of the Chicago Strike Force. This unidentified source from Cleveland doesn't know what he's talking about. Look, I'm not going to let you roll over me again. Some of the most important politicians are taking PAC money from us. We'll see how they like this. I'm sure they're not going to like it at all. You'll be indicted Friday. You can come in the back way if you want to avoid the press. You don't have a fucking thing on me, and you know it. What did you do to get this kind of enemy in Cleveland? Cleveland. 
Joey! Yeah? We still have that woman that works for us in Cleveland? Dorfman in that freight elevator? Jesus, I hope not. I'm scared shitless. <laughs> Look at this. This cocksucker's my bodyguard. Way to go, Smoothie. You got any fillings? <clears throat> what? Open up. Let me see. Jesus, I gotta catch a plane. You're gonna take me to the FBI? Look out. Fucking asshole. What about this? What's this? What's this gross thing right here? That'll work. What do you mean, gross? Kill him. They're gonna kill him if we do go in. No. Well, what do we do? Just sit here? What the hell are you laughing for? I can't believe you're falling. <laughs> what do you mean? Ah, come on. It's a scam, you schmuck. They fed this thing to you. They're trying to get us to turn on each other. What the hell are you doing in Chicago, my office building? Your office building. It's your office building, but the pension fund offices are in the same building, aren't they? And that's why you're really upset, Alan. I'm upset because I got an indictment hanging over my head because of you, you fat fuck! You're upset because I've been trying to take some of those pension funds away from Chicago and away from Kansas City and move them back to New York and Cleveland where they belong, and that's why you're pissed off. You're disturbing about that, aren't you, Alex? Yeah, yeah man, this thing's ridiculous here. You've seen this before, haven't you, Tony? They want us to start whacking each other. They'd love that. I want to ask you one question, Alan. How'd you get that? The hell difference does it make? Be patient with me. I want to know, how did you get that file? From somebody in the FBI office. Who? A secretary we have there. Oh, yeah. A secretary yeah. has access to informant's files? Why not? I knew the FBI was stupid, but I didn't think they were that stupid. When I say they are that stupid. Okay, she can walk by. She takes it off. She puts it in He's her pocket. right. They are that stupid. No. Look, I don't like snitches any more than you guys do. I say if there's a snitch, we hang him right up by his balls, okay? A snitch is the lowest fucking insect crawling on the face of the earth. Well, let me tell you something, Jackie boy. We find out there's a stool pigeon. Stringing him up by his balls will just be foreplay. Absolutely. Slap her ass in jail. I want to see the expression on her face when we show this to her. Wait a minute. Don't... Don't say anything to her. Why not? Just do as I say. Tell her to come in here. Good morning, Jerry. How are you this morning? Fine, thank you, Tom. Good. I want to send a letter to the director. It has to go out right away. All right. Uh, dear Judge Webster, uh, I want to give you an update on our informants list. Among the other informants we have acquired are Jimmy Fratiano, Angelo Leonardo, and Alan Dorfman. You know, of course. What's the matter, Jerry? Nothing's the matter. You know, of course, Alan Dorfman is the chairman of the Central States Pension Fund, and we consider his cooperation of great significance. I got a call from this woman who works for the FBI in Cleveland. She's been selling files to Dorfman. She got scared when she saw this. She, she called me. Do you think Alan is working for them? 
Ah, both them files are phonies. Dolph, the college professor, who thinks he's smarter than anybody else. He's smart, all right. He's got such a hard on for Jackie, he can't see straight anymore. We got a problem, Tony. Dorfman has a contract out on him. Don't worry about him. With Dorfman no longer a threat, Jackie went to PR people to change his image and the image of the Teamsters. He appeared on telethons, he sponsored charity drives and testimonial dinners. He invented the slogan, proud to be a Teamster, and he even began to believe it. His face was everywhere. I like him any better than you do. But we got no choice except to go with Carter. Uh, you gotta be out of your mind to support that fucking peanut farmer. He's killing us with this, this deregulation shit, Roy. Thousands of the membership lost their jobs already. These, these mom and pop operations now, they, they can hire any carrier they want, regardless of what the drivers get paid. What choice do we have? Ronald Wilson Reagan. Oh, uh, you out of your mind. Come on, be on the winning side, fellas. Oh, make sure think he's gonna win. He won't even be close, okay? Talk to your drivers about how much they like this inflation shit. Yeah, sure, the membership is still us. Reagan's a union man. He ran that movie star's union, what's it called? Yeah, you know what, you know what he did. Actors would go to him for help because they were scared of that blacklist. He'd go straight to the FBI and snitch on them. Good, good for him. Fuck those commie bastards. Yeah, but Reagan can't go against deregulation. His whole campaign is based on this free market bullshit. Supposing he makes a commitment to us, to kill the regulation once and for all, huh? Have, have you been meeting with Reagan? Or some of these guys? <laughs> Answer the question, all right? Do you support Reagan if he kills deregulation? But don't give it that. If the board goes for Reagan, you'll have my resignation. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You don't know that Reagan is going to go along with killing deregulation. What do you put yourself out on a limb for? What limb? The working man is going to vote for Reagan anyway, but we'll be the only union that actually endorses him. I'm telling you, this is a smart thing to do, Ted. You know what you've done, Jackie? You've destroyed your credibility with the board. The board will come around. Meantime, if I'm right and Reagan gets elected president, he owes the Teamsters and me big time. Jackie campaigned tirelessly on behalf of Ronald Reagan, and with the blessing of the executive board of the Teamsters, he was influential in delivering millions of dollars in votes. Well, the time has come. We've analyzed the figures, and our exit polling results Sam. now project Reagan hello? as the winner. Yes, one second. Yes, Tim. Tim. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, Mr. President. Yeah, but you will be before the night is over. He's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> huh? No, no, you carried it yourself. No, no, you, you made them feel like you were one of them. And, and you know, that's the way we feel, too. We're, we're very happy. Congratulations. The inauguration of the President of the United States. The pressers go to the White House. <laughs> it's a long way from the tobacco and candy jobbers in Cleveland, then. Huh? Look, you gotta get better. You're gonna have to come with us. You don't want me. What are you talking about? I don't want you. I'm a convicted felon. So what? <laughs> Look at me. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe never. Come on. Come on. Don't say that. There's something else. They're going to make me uh, an advisor on the cabinet. I'm going to help pick the next secretary of labor. How about that? The outfit owns you. And even worse, the government owns you. Yeah, well, nobody is going to own me once I become president of the union. You fool. I know how it works now, okay? If you want to do anything, you got to get the power. 
Well, I'm going to get the power any way I can. And when I got it, I'm going to do things with this union that nobody has ever dreamed of doing, not even you. There's nobody here, okay? Nobody could hear you if for once in your life you were to say, gee, that's great, Jackie. Congratulations. I'm really proud of you. Turn off the light. I'm tired. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I look, I... Can we just uh, talk to each other a little? Dad, please. There's nothing to talk about. It's already over. There are mayors and senators and governors here today. But the people who would have been most important to Bill are the truck drivers, the longshoremen, people who were with him at the beginning. When the union wasn't big business, when it was just an idea, when you had to fight the whole world to make it happen. That's one thing I never figured. Jackie Presser, a fisherman. We were unaware that our meetings were being watched by a strike force from the Justice Department. While we were protecting Jackie, they were trying to indict him. Who's that? Who's he talking to? Isn't he FBI? Let's take a picture and send it to his pal in the White House. Compliments of the Justice Department. We want to talk to you about Jackie Presser. Yeah? What about him? Well, his enemies seem to either disappear or get into trouble. Really? What do you mean? Well, first Danny Green and Nardi are wiped out. Now Williams and Dorfman have been indicted. Yeah, what's that got to do with me? Well, what we want to ask is somebody running interference for him. Like who? The FBI. Now tell us. Is Jackie Presser an informant for the Bureau? No. He hammered him good. 25 to life. Yeah, he'll beat it. He always does. At his age, that's at least nine years in the slam. That's a death sentence. Wait a minute. The guy hasn't given up anything yet. Listen. There's no one who's ever done business for us since Lansky that knows as much as Alan does. Nine years would give him a lot of time to talk. Dorfman dead and Williams going to jail, Jackie Presser could be the next president of the Teamsters. Then we have only one choice, to close him out. Wait a minute, do, do you realize what we give up? Can't you just see it in the Washington Post? The FBI has an informant who's president of the Teamsters. They'll say the FBI's running the Teamsters. It's worse. If you have an informant who hangs out with the Reagans, they'll say the FBI is an informant spying on the president. Yeah, how can we give that up, though? Look what we have. We have an informant who can put away the head of every mob family in the country. I mean, we've never had anything like that before. Could also take all of us down with it. Come on, guys. I mean, we got to keep going with this. We may never have an opportunity like this again. I say we go with Jackie. Chicago wants no part of him. They just as soon whack him then let him be president. You won't get the kind of share of the pension funds that Jackie can get for you. You see what he can do for you. Until now, you've been dealing with Mesh. If we make you president, you'll be dealing directly with the family. As I assume the responsibility of serving our union, as uh, international general president, I want to say, 
I will always have the best interests of our members at heart. I intend to run an open, honest administration. Yesterday is history, and in tomorrow lies the future of our great union. The, uh, the Teamster voice will be heard loud and clear as together we help lead America into the 21st century. All right, let's hear now. Son of a bitch thing he is. Oh, yeah. thing's very totally off. Get out of here, President! Get him off! He is President! Why don't you take out your piece and why don't you shoot? Go ahead! Fellas, fellas, calm down. Calm down. Everybody just take it easy. I'm not afraid of these guys. Come on, they're in the Union. But guys, you lost the election. And even if you won it, you wouldn't know what to do with this union. And as far as muscle is concerned, where the hell do you think we'd be without muscle? Huh? Well, on. that's where you're wrong, because you and pricks like Hoffa made it nothing by selling out the very reason it ever got started. Please, Uncle don't you ever compare me to Hoffa. You understand? Not ever. Now, this is a private party. Brenda. All right. All right. I know you need somebody to go to Washington to take dictation and act as hostess, but I can't go. I mean, there's nobody to take care of my kids. Hey, why don't you ask Cindy? Have you ever been to Washington, Cindy? No. It's a beautiful city. Would you like to go? Oh, sure, great. Well, I hope I can be of some help to you, Mr. Presser. I'm sure you can be. Thanks. I want you to be my political director. What are you talking about? I need somebody around here to do what my old man used to do. Somebody who won't bullshit me. Somebody who'll kick my ass when I need it. You think I don't know some of the things you've done to get here? But I made it, didn't I? Hmm? I'm president of the Teamsters, Tom. I did everything that you and my old man never would have done. And here I am. I got the job. You want me to help you succeed? I want you to fall on your ass. Okay? And be replaced by who? Huh? Have you thought about that? Who replaces me? One of the real gorillas that's on the board? Is that what you want? Just want to turn this whole operation right over to the mafia? Huh? Come on. Get back into the action, Tom. You could do a lot of good around here. You just come along for the ride. Anything you want. What do you really want, Jackie? What I really want... is to show people like you that I am just as good as anybody who ever sat in this chair. Better. Better. I'm going to be everything that my father used to tell me all the time that I never could be. I'd like to speak to my husband. He was supposed to be back by now. Mr. Presser had other business to take care of in Washington. All right. Will you please tell Mr. Presser that uh, his wife is trying to find out where the hell he is? You are the beautiful shiksa of my dreams. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking off your sweater. Stop you it. Oh, you stop don't want me to stop it. it. Yes, I do. Okay, then I'll stop it. I stop, okay? Hmm. send you some messages. Why haven't you answered them? Well, it's it's been a pretty busy time. That savings and loan in my state needs that help right away. Yeah. Senator, have you looked into the lending policies of this company? 
I mean, they've made some huge unsecured loans that people have no backup at all. Haven't you heard? You don't have to secure every last dime these days. <laughs> <laughs> you get the same deal as Fitz and Williams. One point is a finder's fee, five percent of the preferred stock. Yeah, I understand, but that's not the point. Uh, this savings and loan is going down the tube, Senator, and when it goes, it's going to hurt an awful lot of people in your estate, and if we get involved with it, it could hurt us with our membership. Why should it hurt you with the membership? Oh, but it's, it's their money. You know, they might be a little curious why we're in business all of a sudden with a senator who's got one of the worst records in Congress for, as far as organized labor is concerned, anyway. <laughs> Listen, this has been in the works for some time. I don't want any flack on it, or the whole deal will fall apart. It's been promised. You understand? Well, I, I understand, but it hasn't been promised by me. You know, I, I think you're just going to have to get the money someplace else. Sorry. <laughs> don't act the big man with me. I know you. I'll have my committee investigate you. I'll make you testify until you make a mistake, and then I'll hit you with perjury. Well, I think maybe you should subpoena me, Senator, and, and maybe I'll just go in front of your committee. I'll just tell them about this little conversation we just had. <laughs> Who are they going to believe, a fat Jew boy teamster thug or a senior United States senator who's an American institution? Think about it. Now I have a vote I have to make. I gotta give him the money. I don't want to go up in front of that committee. No. Jackie, you represent two million members. That's more people than he's got in his whole fucking state. I remember my old man going up in front of that committee, and I remember him going to jail, too. That was awful. You remember? I remember. <clears throat> my mom calls up Hoffa. She, she begs him to help get my dad out of prison. He was crying on the phone. And after that, Hoffa goes around, he tells everybody, Ah, Bill is supposed to be such a tough guy. He couldn't even do a year. He's a fucking weak man. Yeah, then, then Hoffa goes to the cans, a whole different story. Uh, nobody who's never been there could possibly understand it's hell on earth, except hell couldn't possibly be this bad. Fucking little prick. I just hate to see this crook sticking his snout in our trough. I'm no pussy, Tommy. You know that. I haven't been scared. I've been scared of the bombs. I've been scared of that psycho Provenzano, but... about being in a cage. I don't think I can make it. What is it? What do you want? I would like to see my husband. He isn't available now. Well, where is he? I don't know. You think you are Mrs. Purser, don't you? Don't you? Well, but you're not Mrs. Preser because I am. Didn't you know that? Do the joke! Do it! This is what I'm doing! Do it! What do you want me to do? I'm sorry! 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 i did a good enough job of myself, don't you think? Yeah. So it's the girl with the beautiful bosoms, huh? And all the time I thought it was Linda. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm ashamed of myself. I took the pills, but I called Tony. How pathetic. I care about you, Carmen. I really... I mean, I do care about you. I think about you all the time. I worry about you. I want a divorce, Jackie. You don't mean that. I knew what I was getting into all the time. Now I want you to go. Well, I don't want to go. Well, I don't care what you want anymore, Jackie. I want you to go.
good, Jackie. You lost weight. Ah. I'm trying to tell you, Tony, it's a losing battle. We thought you were dead. We don't get our calls returned anymore. Now that you're a big shot. What about the 20 mil from the pension fund, huh? Jesus Christ. You guys haven't made any payments on the other loans you already got. Uh, well, we can't pay that back right now. You guys are going crazy on me. I got 25 million to renovate that goddamn hotel in Vegas. 10 million for, 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 for Tony's brother to buy that trucking company, and now you're going to default on another 25. Well, I told you, we'd want things. Jesus, I mean, you guys have taken down $80 million from the pension fund. Right, sir. And the guys are going to be retiring. There's going to be nothing there. They'll be in the streets. Oh, we'll worry about it then, huh? <laughs> no. no. You can't have any more. What do you mean? Come on, Tony. You're a bright guy. Use your head. There's too much heat. You can't take any more right now. Get it someplace else. Jesus Christ. He ain't gone anywhere else. Who the fuck do you think you are? President of Teamsters? That shit. You're our errand boy. And you'll stay our errand boy as long as we want you to. Not one fucking minute longer. You know what happened to Hoffa. And we liked him. Uh, what's the matter, Jackie? You spoil your suit? Send me the cleaning pill. <laughs> All right, what's the problem, Alan? Look, I'm leaving for Washington in about 15 minutes. I want $100,000. That's all you want is $100,000? That's right, not $25,000, not fifty. dollars I want $100,000, that's what I owe, and that's what you're going to give me. I'm tired of your threats and Jackie paying off all these goddamn gambling debts. You better get him out of my face. Get him the fuck out of my face! You're talking to me because he might give in to you because he's your nephew. But we're through paying off for you. I got a 38 myself. I got a 38. You want me to use it? You want me to use it? Alan, Alan, easy. All right, just take it easy. I just want to talk. We're talking. Alan, where do you want to talk? You want to talk in a parking lot? Alan. Alan. It's all over. Do you understand? You think I wouldn't use this? Go ahead, use it. What's it going to get you? You think you get the money? Huh? You want to kill me? Go ahead, kill me. Is that going to get you your money? From now on, we send you your salary. That's all the money you're going to get. Do you understand? And I don't want you around this building anymore. Not ever again. Now get out of here. Get out! Word is they're gonna skin 40 million out of Vegas the next couple of months. 40 million? I didn't know you could skin that much out in two months. Well, they got some new guys there. They got a new magic act in Vegas. <laughs> they're gonna make 10 tons of silver disappear every week. <laughs> really? Who's behind it? Mesh Rockman. You know better than asking me that. He's the one who's behind it, Jack. He's the only one who can document the money trail. The man us. saved my life a thousand times, okay? He was my father's closest friend, so just forget it. All right, I can forget it, but the Bureau won't. Bureau, the Bureau, fuck the Bureau. The Bureau is so goddamn conscientious. Will you tell me why they're so obsessed by a bunch of goombas out in the middle of the desert ripping off casinos? Why aren't they going after the, the most important family of all? What family might that be? Washington family. There is no Washington family. Jesus, you really are a schmuck. The guys that are on David Brinkley every Sunday. Like who? Guys I looked up to my whole life. It's a feeding frenzy going on here, for Christ's sake. If anybody doesn't do something about it, the whole country's going bankrupt. Right now, we're in Cleveland at the home of Mr. Presser's uncle, Alan Friedman. Mr. Friedman, there's something you wanted to say about your nephew. I think it is a disgrace that a man like Jackie Presser should be head of the largest union in the United States. Why? Because he doesn't give a damn about the working man. He never has. All he cares about is lining his own pockets. A pretty serious charge, Mr. Friedman. What evidence do you have of that? Me? pays me and I don't do anything. Sends me my salary because he's afraid of what I might tell. The Justice Department is going to indict Presser. You hear what his uncle told the grand jury? We're going to have to tell the Justice Department he's an informant. Justice leaks like a sieve. What's the big deal? White collar crime. He'll get five years and serve two with good behavior. Two years? Come you know what'll happen to him if he goes into the joint. The Chicago people will have an easier time whacking him there than on the street. You made a mistake, Tom. 
What's that? You got too close to an informant. It's not that. No, it's that it's it. we're burning the most important source on organized crime the Bureau's ever had. He doesn't have anything else to give us. We've gotten everything from him we can get. What, he gave you Dorfman, Williams, and Cannon, but what's he done for us lately? Is that it? But Cannon wasn't indicted. Does he have anything on Mace Rockman? I tried. He won't give up Rockman. Rockman's their money man. He knows where every penny goes. Now, if Presser can give us enough to squeeze Rockman... If he does, I'll go to the Attorney General myself and tell him it's important to keep the tailor in place. You're gonna have to give up, Mesh. No. I told you all along it was gonna happen, Jackie. No way. Fuck you. You told me Hoffa said it was like hell on earth, only hell couldn't be that bad. Well, let me tell you something. What he went through was nothing compared to what you'll go through. I said, fuck you, Noonan. Don't be afraid to go out in the yard because somebody might shove a shank into your back. You won't be able to sit down and eat food because you'll think somebody's poisoned it. Yeah, you'll be afraid to turn your back on a guard because they're worse than the con. I still worse than Provenzano. Keep your mouth shut. I'm Started sorry, something I'm here, Jackie. Rockman is the key, no matter how you feel about it. Now, he has to go sooner or later. He will go. If you don't get him, we will. I have a warrant here for your arrest. What's the charge? Racketeering, bribery, conspiracy, and fraud. Don't cuff me. How could you do it? What are you talking about? I don't know what I'm talking about. He's an old man. They put him in there for the rest of his life. Who's next, Jackie? Me? Will you rat me out next? Who's him or me? I can't live in a cage, Tony. No more than my old man could. Look, you gotta understand, they were gonna get him anyway. We, we gotta clean up this goddamn union once and for all, and, and Mesh was a part of it. Now, you know that. Look, they, they just couldn't do it without nailing him to it. Nailing Dorfman. Neil and Williams is one thing, but Mace is another. You're a rat. I don't have anything to do with rats. Every single member of the Teamsters all across this great, great country. I'm proud to be standing here, surrounded by friends, and proud to accept the endorsement of the Teamsters for our great campaign of 1984. So uh, what I'm trying to say here is that we need more time for President Reagan's policies to take effect. Now these. These recent tax cuts, they're going to they're gonna be good for business. They'll boost business. That will generate a lot of new jobs for everyone, right down to the lowest man on the totem pole, okay? Now, like the, like the president said, a rising tide lifts all boats. So let's get out there, let's support Ronald Reagan, and let's re-elect the president. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming. That's good. Keep it in. A rising tide lifts all boats. I like that. Yeah, of course, if you don't have a boat, you're gonna fucking drown. Christ, like a bomb hit this place. And look at them. Look at them. They, they, they still love Reagan. <laughs> what the hell is the matter with them? I'll tell you something. I've been listening to Mondale. He's starting to make a lot more sense to me. Uh, look, Mondale is not your kind of man. You have a relationship with this administration. You have to help Ronnie get this next term. All right. Well, who's gonna help me? Huh? There wasn't a peep from the White House. There was all this crap about the indictment, was there? We've discussed all that, Jackie. Don't worry. Ed Meese is Attorney General now. Well, what does that mean? Huh? What is, is that a promise? You, you, you're going to make a promise to me right here, right now, a commitment that there's not going to be any indictment? That's what I want. We can't make any promises, Jackie. Look, you know how we feel about you. Huh? Look, we're going to have to hustle, Jackie, if we're going to get to Wheeling. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Let's go to Wheeling. Hey, he's been all over the country for you. He's exhausted. He can rest in the limo. If he's tired, he can sit down for a couple of hours over lunch. What's the matter, Jackie? What's the matter? <laughs> No, we are going to the doctor now, this minute. Jackie. Hi. Hey. Well, 
what is it? Is everything all right? Is, is your heart all right? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with my heart. Oh, thank God. There is something. What is it? It's cancer. Lung cancer. Well, you'll lick it. My old man didn't. Well, you will. You're a very strong man. You can beat anything. Was well, there anything they can do? Can they operate? Yeah. Uh, not gonna be easy with all this blubber. Yeah. <sighs> Come on now. Don't cry, huh? I'm the one that's sick. You don't see me cry. <sighs> You'll never believe it, and there's nothing I can ever do about that. <laughs> I'm beginning to believe it, Cindy. Oh, I'll have to take care of things. We'll, we'll have to move back the convention. No, no, we can't do that. What do you mean? You can't make it. You're sick. Now, with all these rumors, <laughs> rumors about this indictment, I, I don't want anybody to think I'm afraid to go into that convention. Uh, you really should get this taken care of, you know. Something else we gotta do first. What's that? We gotta get married. Right. They won't sit on the indictment any longer. What do you mean? He gave up Rockland. Mace is attorney general now. Well, he's Jackie's friend, isn't he? Well, he's got enough problems with WedTech. Have you heard the stuff that's coming up about trading arms for hostages? So what, the election's over, they don't need him anymore, is that it? You didn't give him any written authorization to put his uncle or maid guys on the payroll, did you? No, but it was understood that if he was to have any credibility... Make an outfit, appointment with justice. They've been bugging the hell out of us. Tell them we never gave him any such authorization. Come on, Tom, it's important we respond right away. What's the matter? I can't do that. What do you mean you can't do that? I can't let him get killed. What's that supposed to mean? I'm going to say I did give him authorization. That'll give those bastards of justice just what they've been waiting for. They've had a hard on for us for years. All right, I'll say I did it on my own. I can't help it. I can't do this. Thing. We made a deal. What's the matter with you, Tom? You're one of the best agents this office has ever had. What are you doing this? For that little thug. It has nothing to do with him. Go to the judge who's going to be trying this case. Tell him I authorized Jackie to hire all those people. See? I tell you. I told you that we could count on the FBI. Did the FBI give you their okay to do this? I've been suspended. What? I'll be all right. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You'll be all right. This job is your whole life. All right, listen, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to Mace. All right, well, if he doesn't do any good, I'll go direct to Reagan. I gave these guys millions of dollars worth of political support. I gave them Ohio for Christ's sake. Look, see if you can get Mace on the phone right now. Let me know when you need my affidavit. I can't believe they did. Why did you do this anyway? I didn't do it for you, okay? I did it for myself. Yeah, sure, you screwed up your whole career for yourself. We'll take care of it. Did you get him? What's the matter? Is he on there or what? He'll get back to you. Bullshit. Give me that phone. Hello? Yeah, who is this? You tell me I want to talk to him right now, on the phone. Put him on. This is Jackie Presser, that's who this is. What? He'll get back to you. You had a sleazy mob informant, and you made him president of the Teamsters. You had an informant right in the fucking Oval Office. 
like you bugged the Oval Office. Hey, talk to your boss, Meese. It was all told to him, all right? Tell us what other agents were involved with you. I'm not going to do that, never. Suppose we bring this before the grand jury. What if they ask you to testify? <sighs> Fine, I'll take the fifth. Then we'll give you immunity. What do you think of that? I still won't talk. Then you'll do time. What do you fine, think of that? Fine, fine. Then I'll do time, all right? Are you proud of yourself? The FBI doesn't run this country, you know? You're under the jurisdiction of the Justice Department, and don't you fucking forget it. Hey, here's my chin. Take your best shot. Who are they? What are they doing here? Agents from all over the country. They, uh, they want you to know they care. You're going to Vegas to be re-elected the president of the biggest fucking union in the country, and you're dead? They just hit me with an indictment. I gotta go to Cleveland tomorrow for arraignment. You can't go to Cleveland. You're going to Vegas. Tell them to put it off. Why do you think they set it up for tomorrow? They tell me I can't put it off. They tell me if I don't go to Cleveland, they'll arrest me in Vegas. They'll drag me off the stage in front of the entire convention. Well, you go to Cleveland, and then you go on to Vegas, and you accept a presidency. Oh, fucking assholes in the press. They've been waiting for something like this. They're going to kill me. I want to extend warm greetings to all of you in Las Vegas attending the Teamsters Convention. From my union days, I know such conventions can generate feelings of camaraderie and purpose. And I'm sorry I can't be there in person to participate. I know you'll agree that we need a convoy of determined citizens and legislators Jack, what's wrong with you? He's been throwing up all night. He keeps getting his operation off. The doctor told him he should have it right away. Well, get Dr. Cohen, the Mount Sinai Hospital. Get on the phone. Oh, no, come back. You, you're not up to it. You'll never make it. Well, well, tell him you're sick. I understand. Oh, oh, oh. Fine, I'll be all right. You're not up to it. Give me the heart of fine. Making a goddamn speech. Vitality and unbinded strength. I hope to be in team with the Teamsters and with all of America's working men and women pulling for a more prosperous America. You've got some problems today. And you can't afford to ignore them, and you mustn't try. As Secretary of Labor, I can't afford to ignore them. As a national organization, you've lost a great deal of public trust. And you have to ask yourselves those tough questions, beginning with the hardest question. Why? It's killing you. That's why he came here. All right, start the music. I'm going up there right now. I'm going to cut them off. All right, you guys, grab a hold of this thing. Let's go. Let's go. Open those doors. Come on. Let's go. Move it. Move it. Come on. If there are changes, are there rules where people are doing just that? But the time is when our members are normal. If there are... Secretary, thank you for enlightening us on our problems. And, uh, and I would like to say, Mr. Secretary, that I agree that there's something wrong. There's, there's something radically wrong. There's something radically wrong when so-called multinational corporations close down thousands and thousands of union shops across the United States and move to Mexico and Korea and China 
and anywhere where there's cheap, exploited labor, and millions of American workers are left without jobs, and this administration stands by and does absolutely nothing about it, I would say that that's wrong. Secretary, I would say that there's something radically wrong when at a time when union members are scared stiff about their jobs and about their futures and about rising medical costs and shrinking benefits, about the very safety and integrity of the social security system itself, at that same time, American executives are paying themselves higher and higher salaries and benefits and stock options and golden parachutes. And this administration, your administration, Mr. Secretary, stands by and does absolutely nothing. I would say that that's wrong, Mr. Secretary. But, but Mr. Secretary, something is happening here that you may not have noticed in your zeal to tell us what our problems are, and that is the great giant. That is, the International Teamsters Union will rise up and unleash a fury across this country that will stop once and for all the government persecution of Jackie Presser, of the Teamsters Union, of organized labor, and the American working man, so help me God! Jackie, <laughs> I read in the paper that you weren't feeling well, so I had to come see you. I'm glad you came. Listen, there's a, there's a cap there somewhere. You're not self-conscious in front of me, are you, Jackie? Uh, the radiation. I wasn't ugly enough before, right? <laughs> You. Cindy's a nice girl. She she does love me. But something's missing. What's that? My past. Everything I everything I went through. Everybody I went through. Me. Take a look. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. 
Hey, you must really be sorry you ever got mixed up with a joker like me. No, no, I'm not. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna work as a private investigator for the lawyer who represented me. Defense attorney? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. Well, you become a liberal all of a sudden. <laughs> the minute I was indicted. <laughs> oh, it hurts when I laugh. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You got a copy of my file? Tell me the truth. No file. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you low-life felon, you son of a bitch. You do, don't you, huh? Sure, Hoover's spinning in his grave. That's good. I want you to send a copy to the Washington Post, the New York Times, and the... the Who's that tough guinea DA in New York? What's his name? Giuliani. Giuliani. That would be suicide. For him. I don't have that much time left anyway. What are you talking about? Sure you do. No, oh, they're trying to bullshit me. Then. I know the cancer spread. I can feel it. There's something wrong with my mind. So will you do it for me? With the files, I mean? Don't ask me to do that, Jackie. That's raw intelligence. Perfect. I'll get somebody else. Why? <sighs> Tell the truth once in my life. Show the membership what it's really like. The executive board and its sponsors mob families, congressmen and senators, from the backbone of America. Yeah, sure, they scheme and hustle with the union, try to fuck people that worked all their lives for them. You know, maybe the best thing I could do in my life is just show people what really happened and your concern for my health. <clears throat> so, let me see if I can guess what's on the table. The replacement of Jackie Presser, am I right? Huh? You can't be head of this union, Jackie. Fighting cancer and indictment hanging over your head. Yeah, you'd like to get rid of me, wouldn't you, Andy? You'd love to go back the way things were, right? Well, it ain't gonna happen. I think you're out of order. <laughs> Yeah, you, you think I'm going to be dead by the next meeting, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> you may be right. <laughs> but you know something? A lot of you guys ain't going to be around either. That's right. Because a lot of you guys are going to be in jail. And a lot of you guys are going to be dead, too. Now you, you, you rat bastard, you get out of my chair right now. You can go now. Stay right there. I said you can go now. You stay there, and you stay there, and you write this down. <laughs> oh, you're a made man. You're a fucking mafioso. Right here, right here. Right on the board of the team. Because you're there he is right there, brother Donald. Yeah. Here we got Morgan. Morgan, a gopher for Mineta. Another Goomba wise guy. Morgan wouldn't wipe his ass without him. We got Haluska here. Haluska. Get the fuck out of here. You know what you're talking about, Jackie. It's not true. It's the medication. It's me, all right. It's me. 
say what I should have said a long time ago. You guys don't give a shit about the working men. We're all a bunch of fucking pigs. Your private airplanes and your fancy houses and your fur coats. <laughs> You're worse than the bosses that we have to negotiate with. What about you, you fat fucking Jew? Huh? You and your fucking old man. You stole more money than everybody in this room put together. You know, maybe you should go have some more tests done. See what's wrong with your fucking brain. I don't, I don't need any more tests. I know I'm dying, but you know something? Maybe I can do some good before I die by putting you in jail. That's right. I'm coming after you, you guinea piece of shit. Me. Me, Jackie Presser. So why don't you put it in the record? Do you remember? Fuck Tony Provenzano. Jackie Presser, Jackie Presser. The whole fucking world's going crazy. Can't trust nobody in this world no more, Tony. He'll fuck you and then everybody else. I'm telling you, he's got to be stopped. Close the door. It's all right. Go open the door. Close the door. It's all right. Jackie, uh, there's somebody here to see you. How you doing, Jackie? I don't think he recognizes me. Sure he does. You recognize Tom, don't you, Jackie? Hey, from the Wheeling. Local, from the local in Wheeling. He's better my father. I want you to, I want you to give him a message. Okay? Oh. Who, Jackie? I want you to give my father a message. My dad. My dad's Bill Presser. Yeah. And, uh, give, give Bill Presser a message. Yeah, okay, okay. What, what do you want me to tell him? Tell him, tell him Mesh knew all about what I was doing. Mesh was in on it. Can you tell him that? Mesh knew about it. Okay, I'll tell him. Tell him that Uncle Alan started the fire and I. I, I, I didn't want to blow the whistle on this uncle out. It was family. It okay. was family. Hey. I'll tell my dad. Tell Bill Presser that. Hey. Bill Presser is my dad. How you doing? All right. Go back to sleep. You escaped them both in the end. The government and the outfit. But his file wasn't dead. Today, the United States government is bringing a lawsuit to attack and to reverse, once and for all, a major American scandal. Organized Crimes Alliance with the Teamsters. Salerno got 170 years for labor racketeering and skimming $2 million off the gambling casinos in Las Vegas. Tony Provenzano got 25 to life for murdering a union official and labor racketeering. In 1991, even though he was dead, Humpty Dumpty pulled out something that even his grandmother and his father and the FBI and the Justice Department weren't able to do. For the first time in its history, the Teamsters voted in a Democratic election. The rank and file, and not just the board, Elected as their president, Ron Carey, the Queen's truck driver. His life was threatened by the old gun, but Carey has promised massive changes in the Teamsters Union. That is the members who have sent me here. And it is the members whom I will serve. And it is the members whom I will serve.
Jackie Presser's name was never mentioned.